the Subaru Chase is next, and this is three miles on one furlong, not to 100, of course. And the top one, Segretet Alexi for James Shea. Georgia O'Keefe, Paul Rhodes, Gypsy King, Alex Cherry, Neo Renova, Martin Needham, Miss Wacky Asset for Ryan Costello, Deep Reflection, Thomas Rogers, Whenever Dragoon, Alex Cherry, Danzig, Caramel, Thomas Rogers, and Harold Bold, Ryan Costello. So nine in this one then. Rain still coming down. And away they go. Familiar trainers in this one that you normally see in the Hunters. Like Alex Cherry and Thomas Rogers as they come down to the first of the 23. And there's a four already. Miss Wacky Asset has gone for Ryan Costello, who's a regular in these races now as well. James Shea also manages to sneak a few in as they get over the second. Uh, Paul Rhodes is a bit of a newcomer to the Hunter scene as he's. Stabler slipped down the pecking order a little bit. Daniel French is missing from these hunters this year. He ran me close with the title last season. Uh, went down to the final day of the year. I think his horses must be a little bit too good to get in this time as they get down to the third, which they're all safely over. Unfortunately, mine are still plenty bad enough to get in, but they're not even good enough to win them this year, so it's certainly been a disappointing start to the season for my lot and one of my lot is in the lead at the moment and that's Neo Branover. So Neo Branover the leader then by about three quarters of a length. They've got two circuits of the track to go whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry is in second as they get to the fourth. Neither of the leaders jumped it particularly brilliantly. Gypsy King jumped it better in third the second of Alex Cherry's two runners as they get over that ditch and this time it was Gypsy King's turn to be a bit slow. So they're in these 0 to 100 races for a reason, and you can probably tell as you watch them. They jump well sometimes, and they put in the odd sketchy one, and the odd disastrous one, and the odd slow one. And that's why they're down amongst race 30 to 36 most weeks, or 35 to 39 as it is nowadays. So it's Neo Renova in the lead by two. to the six jump that one really nicely though mistake by Sigretza Lexi has seen that one drop to virtually last along with Danzi Caramel but they're racing this part of the track where they go uphill and then they race immediately downhill straight into the next fence so this could be a tricky one to take and Neo Renova is in the lead coming to it over number seven and uh, tricky fence they all took it okay the only one who didn't take it all that well was Georgia O'Keefe who has now been relegated to last, but it's Neo run over in front then, whenever Dragoon second, big gap then to the rest of them are headed by Gypsy King, Harold Bold on the outside, Deep Reflection on the near side as they take number eight, and then after Deep Reflection is Danzig, Caramel, Segretet, Alexi, and finally Georgia O'Keefe, only gone there, it's a fall off of whenever Dragoon just ran straight into the fence, and uh, that's left Neo ran over about six lengths clear of the remainder, but there's still another circuit to go, and plenty can still change, but that was a bit of a surprise, because whenever Dragoon had been jumping reasonably well, he just completely forgot to take off at that one, and is out of the race, so Neo ran over, clear then, by about six or seven to Danzig Carroll has now come through in a second. Gypsy King is third as they get to number 12. And there's another one gone at the back there. Georgia O'Keefe this time has gone. So another one out. And these stiff hunter chase fences are finding these ones out. And we're down to, what are we down to? Six now? Yep, six left. So only one will go home without any money in their pocket if they all finish. As they get to the 13th. And over that one they go, and the old run over is in the lead from Danzig Caramel second and Harold Bold third. Then Gypsy King is four, and then Deep Reflection and Cigarettes Alexi as they come up past the winning post and past that tiny little stand. And then go out now for one more complete circuit of the track. You wouldn't want to be stood in the back of that stand because he's got a completely solid side, so you wouldn't be able to see anything apart from what was directly in front of you. So that might be a little bit of a design fault there as they come down to this next one, which is a ditch. And the Obranova's lead is now down to a length as Gypsy King is poised in second place, ready to pounce. Then Danzig, Caramel and Harold Bolt, Deep Reflection and Segretz Alexi. You wouldn't count any of these out at the moment. And the Obranova is just kicking on again and has gone too clear. There's still a mile to go and there's still an awful lot of jumping to do. So Neo ran over. He's in front now. Danzig Caramel has moved through into second. Gypsy King is third. Harold Bold is fourth. 
In comes Sigrid Alexi on the outside, and deep reflections have got the inside, so wide open still as they come down to this next one. It's probably going to come down to the jumping, I would think, and they're all over that one nicely. And the old run over is still in the lead as they come to this tricky part of the track with the uphill, downhill, and then the fence. And it's Neo run over in the lead. From Danzig, Caramel second, and Sigrid Alexi moving through on the outside into third. Then Gypsy King and Harold Bolt as they get to that 17th, and they're all over it okay. Neo run over a length clear of in second place, Danzig Caramel. Gypsy King is going well in third. Deep Reflection is running a good race in fourth, and then Sigrid Alexi, and finally Harold Bolt is the back marker. But they're coming down towards this next one, and now still Neo run over in front. Good jump on the outside there by. Cigarette to Lexi has seen that one take much closer order again, but they're all jumping okay at the moment. They've got three to go, four to go. This is the fourth from home, and the over and over lands in front. Mistake there by Gypsy King, but Danzig Caramel has now come through for a share of the lead. It's Neo run over. Danzig Caramel, Gypsy King. These three are ahead of Deep Reflection, Harold Bold and Cigarette to Lexi. They've got just a couple to take there now. They've got three to take. This is the third last. Over it they go. Neo run over. Half a length clear still of Danzig Caramel. Looks to be going better, but gets a bit of a backhander there at the second last. Good jump by Neo run over goes a length clear Danzig Caramel second Gypsy King trying to run on then Deep Reflection back in fourth just one to take and still Neo run over is in the lead but now Gypsy King is the one that's going to throw down the challenges Danzig Caramel hits the wall they take this sharp turn towards home they've got just over a furlong to go and they've got one fence to take and Neo run over is in the lead coming up to it gets over it gets away from it well it's Neo run over being chased by Gypsy King Neo run over is in the lead she needs a line she's still going she's about two left it's clear and racing up towards the run. Neo run over takes it. Gypsy King is second. Deep reflection third. Then Dunsey Caramel Sirets Alexi. And finally Harold Bold. So it was an all the way win really for Neo run over. And you could say that Neo ran over them all and took it pretty cosily. It was looking a bit shaky towards the end as they were queuing up to challenge, but nothing could get past there. And Neo run over takes it. Let's take a look at the full list then. It's Neo run over the winner for Martin Leadham. Gypsy King for Alex Cherry was second. Thomas Rogers took third and fourth with Deep Reflection. And Danzig Caramel and Segre Tetzalexi for James Shea was fifth.